Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. <clears throat> wow, um, it is actually Saturday, Saturday night, 9.40. I am actually parked at my house. I just got here. I'm actually going to spend a night at my house tonight. Um... It's so crazy to say, I have not slept in my bed since last year. So yeah, I'm going to spend a night <clears throat> here at my house. My boyfriend is meeting me here. Um, I was just going to like head down and, you know, metal, start like pulling out pajamas and, you know, doing all the things. <clears throat> but it's extremely, extremely windy. Like, I want to say, yeah, right now it's 55 degrees outside and it's a strong wind. Oh, my car's on. And uh, I have like a small little bag. Well, it's not really small. So what about like Eat Naked LA? Little yellow bags right here. I have that with me. And I just brought like my Kindle um a gown that i want to leave here so i'm both like i might as well sleep in it and like my medicine bag <clears throat> not much but i'm like amber it's windy it's dark it's cold you're gonna be carrying stuff and going down the stairs and fumbling with the key like just wait so my boyfriend was supposed to be here before me but in true color people fashion he ain't here yet so i'm like okay i told him i will wait in the car but i'm kind of thinking i'm not going to my mom even said twice before i left make sure you call him so that he can help you down the stairs so it's like if i don't listen to her and I don't listen to him and I go down the stairs and I fall or I slip who do I have to blame but myself so I think I'm gonna wait which is why I poured you guys out because I had to talk through it I convinced myself but I'm getting sleepy I'm cramping it's cold I don't know. I know I got tea in the house. Like, <sighs> I got my electric blanket already on my bed. My boyfriend already put the electric blanket on the bed. Like, I, I, I I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Did it just sit in the car? Like, I walked up and down those stairs every day for. Eight years. For eight years, I've walked up and down those stairs by myself. It seems pretty ridiculous that I can't do it now. I can't. I probably can't do it. I should do it. I should just go. But no, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. But anywho, the plan today was to go to the container store. I was going to take you guys because... My mom got me a container store gift card for Christmas um, that, you know, I never got a chance to use. So I was going to go to the container store and use it because I know exactly what I want. Like, I'm tromping at the bits to get some organizational stuff. But um, <clears throat> I didn't go because it was raining and I got a late start to my day. So I might go tomorrow. But speaking of Christmas... um for Christmas, I got <clears throat> a bottle of 
uh Santal 33 like the real one you guys know I have the dossier version and I got the matching lotion um I got the hotel scent like diffuser in a scent um I got a Barnes and Noble gift card container store gift card um let me see am I forgetting anything else I got money um my boyfriend got me a diamond and ruby ring I <sighs> I should have, yeah. I literally think I had it on when I vlogged the other day and didn't show you. Um, did I get anything else? Oh, Archer's Voice, the book I showed you guys um, in the little book haul. My sister got me that. And I think I got some smaller gifts, but it just escapes me right now. Um, and yeah, and then for my birthday my boyfriend got me a gold ring with the letter a and then for valentine's day he got me a um gold ring with his initial and that was because when he got me the diamond ring um for christmas i was like oh i was like you know um <clears throat> this is only my second piece of real jewelry i was like i well actually i mean if you count my nose ring my nose ring is real gold um i was like yeah this is only my second piece of real jewelry i was like my sister bought me some earrings that i still have i was like and um this diamond ring i was like and then i inherited my older sister's like um gold like necklace i said but it's sentimental so i don't wear it um like that or whatever but so he was like yeah we got to get you some more jewelry so that's why for my birthday which is february 1st and valentine's which is shortly thereafter um i got more jewelry so i didn't bring it with me because i want to keep it with me for when i go out I, sometimes i put it on but <clears throat> so um yeah i just want to tell you guys what i got for christmas because it's been so long i probably will forget but yeah, I just got the heated seats on, warm in my back because of these cramps. And I'm probably just going to watch a little TikTok on my phone. That's about it. I don't want to turn this car off. Actually, I probably not. I'm not going to turn it off because I never drive this car. It went three months not being driven. It could stand, it could stand to sit here a little bit and run, so... That's what we're going to do. We're going to run this car for a minute. All right, y'all. Good morning, peeps. It is the uh, next day. Um, I'm sitting here waiting for my boyfriend because we have to move some stuff. Some clothing and storage and stuff. Well, I'm not doing anything, but... I had a churro latte from Dunkin'. Really good, and I have a uh, a churro donut, but I don't know why I got it because I heard Duncan doesn't even have good donuts, and I don't. It's not like I had hot coffee, so yeah. And who wants churro with churro? Anywho, yeah, I'm just waiting. Um, I slept so good last night in my own bed, like you wouldn't believe, guys. I'm I'm really loving this hat. I think I'm gonna get a couple more. But anyways, it's been, you hear this? It's been so windy and so cold. Um, today, I wanted to go to the container store. I didn't shower at my house, which is weird because um, I need to apply new bandages after I shower. And I don't have any of the bandages at my house and I can't do them myself and yeah so um yeah so i'm going to despite how i look your girl is not bathed so i'm gonna um after we do this i'm gonna go in the house i'm gonna shower i'm gonna see who's up to going to the container store with me or if i have to postpone it i don't want to postpone it because i'm excited but who knows it's so windy I, it's so windy and cold i can't Blame people for not wanting to get out in this. It is. Mm, my car is not on, so it won't tell me. But I want to say it's probably like. 
at least 60. Which for Californians is. Yeah. But, um. I think that was it. Oh, yeah. When I got to my house, I did wait for my boyfriend. Um, and when I got, like, in my house, I just. <clears throat> I put on my little gown. I got in a little bed. I turned on my um, electric blanket. I took my little pain medicine. Child, I slept so good. Ugh, I slept so good. It was just shameful. I didn't wake up until 11, like 11.30. And then I laid in the bed from 11.30 to like 12. And then I um, got dressed. And then, yeah, here we are. So, it is almost 1.30. And I still have to, like, shower and all that. But at least I've eaten breakfast and had my coffee. And, yeah, I hate having backwards days, though. Like, I would prefer to be, like, already showered and ready to go right now. So that all I could just be like, hey, I'm pulling up. You guys want to go to the container store? But I can't do that because I'm still recovering. <clears throat> but I can't complain, y'all. I, I mean, just being able to drive, being able to go places, being able just to go up and down the stairs at my house, to be able to walk from my parking spot, like... I don't take any of that for granted because, I mean, there was a time when literally I could not get up out of the hospital bed and walk to the bathroom in my room. Like, I couldn't even, I wasn't even allowed to do that. Even if I thought I could or wanted to, they would be like, no, it's not a good idea. That's crazy. That's crazy. And that they would literally come to my room and be like, okay, for today's physical therapy, we're just going to try to walk from the bed to the door. <laughs> it's crazy. You guys literally like learning. I mean, you have muscle memory, so it's a lot quicker than like, let's say a toddler. But that's what it felt like. It felt like, you know... At any moment, my legs would, like, snap and I was going to fall. I still, my legs still don't feel as strong and I don't walk, like, with swag. I have, like, a, oh, she's under the weather walk, if that makes sense. It's like a, a slow kind of, like, side-to-side -side shuffle that I have. It's still not, like, a runway walk or, oh, she cute walk. No, we're not there yet at all, but... At least I can walk. All right, guys. All right, guys. So, we are trying Dutch Brother today. Literally did not know. Well, I knew we had one in California. I just thought it was too far, but it actually wasn't that far. So, this is the line. It's two cars. It goes all the way. That's what I said. They get it. All the way over to there. And it's like, you can't see, but I don't want to show your registration information. But it's all the way over there. Then they have a window that you can walk up to. And it's nothing but like, how many people would you say? It was 30 people. 30, 40 people outside. So I want to try the boba drink. Matter of fact, we have time. I might as well look at the menu. Figure out what I want. See if it's worth the hype. But I don't know if the line is like this because... There's only two, and they're both in Fountain Valley. So I don't know if that's why this line is crazy like that because it's a Saturday and because we only have two. But don't have your phone. I, they don't need to know that. I left my phone at my sister's house. So I'm using her spare phone. It's an inferior device, really. What is this? An iPhone 4? 13. It's a 13. Um, it's just so small. That's why I didn't know what it was. 
This is literally just an iPhone, huh? Mm-hmm. I haven't held an actual just iPhone since hmm, maybe 2010. I've always had a Pro Max. So this is so tiny. It feels like a six. So tiny. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll let you guys know as we get closer. Um, yeah. In the line, you can see. Oh my goodness, yeah. More people are coming behind. I don't really think you guys can get the gist of how long this line is because of how the camera is angled, but I have never. We have a. If you are in California and you've seen In N Out, how In N Out line is, this is like two times the line for In N Out. And there's no like porters, there's nobody like walking to the car taking orders literally you have to wait till you get to the window so yeah okay we're getting somewhere this is the line curving and they do actually have people that take the order so we're getting somewhere i'm gonna get the popping boba <clears throat> you bet not curve into this line. You that's Ooh. gonna this dude right here, he looked like he was about to. Anyways. The poppin' boba yeah, caramel I chai. Show on your vlog then. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all yeah, gonna get the poppin' boba caramel chai and the oh, orange good. what is it? Orange cranberry muffin top. By the way, are you guys seeing the teeth? Are you seeing the pearly whites? I want to say, I did this on my own, okay? I did go to the dentist, but I got them white before I even got to the cleaning. Maybe I might tell y'all how. I'll tell them. I'll tell you guys. I used a water pick with peroxide, water, and Listerine daily. And I made sure to spray the front and then just slowly it just lightened. So... I fixed it myself, but when I went to the dentist, I did use their really good hygienist, what they consider their best hygienist, and he made them brighter. Good cleaning, so we no longer have the gold teeth, which is always good. Gold. They were gold. Yeah. Saw it in editing, they were pretty gold. But next up will be the taste test oh, okay that already is pulling up it's yeah. already pulling yeah. up yeah people we almost like, there's nothing here yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. almost they didn't went have there. enough reviews for yeah. me so i was like let me just go to the other one it's Smart. Like, <laughs> also, it shouldn't say open like it should like this uh -huh. one always say like oh we close at 10 or we close at yeah. 11 yeah that one's like no time <laughs> yeah <all>. yeah <laughs> but i made the same mistake in different places and it's really annoying so. anyway you guys have a wonderful day Appreciate all right you. thank you Pretty good. So, yeah, it's a good thing. Me and my sister were talking because she pulled up that there were two Dutch brothers. And um, one was, like, off Warner and one was off Magnolia. And I used to work in Costa Mesa. So, I was like, oh, let's just go to the one off Warner because I know Warner is an exit off the freeway. So, it may be easier. And he was just telling us that the, that's a second location that they're about to open. And it's already showing up, but no, it's nothing there. So if we had to went there, we would have to drive all the way here and probably been like what number seven thousand five hundred in line. We're actually in the drive. We're in the drive thru right now. I'm going to show you guys, and I'm going to point to you to where we were before. I'm probably going to have to circle it in the editing, but now we're in the drive thru. We ordered. This curves all the way around to there where you pick up your drink. So we're pretty close where we were gonna try to zoom it for you guys is past oh all the way over there by the dog camp then you come up that aisle down the main road as you can see like that black car there then you have to come all the way down here and curve around so yeah it's uh it's a long line twisted look twist is a line 
I don't know what kind of music this is they're playing, but. That's the actual menu there. Okay, so this is the drink. As you can see, it's like honey, boba on top. He warned me that it's popping boba. Let's see. Yeah, I can get out and get it. It's really good. I got it with oat milk. My mom thinks I'm talking to her because she doesn't realize I'm vlogging. She'll catch on. And I got this blueberry muffin top. <clears throat> orange, orange cranberry. Let me see. Oh, hold this for me. Just like that. Oh, you're 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 throwing my breast. Thanks. I just wanna Why wouldn't you have it where I can see what I'm filming? That okay, yeah. Just do that. Hold on, okay. Okay. It's mm. cold, but they were busy. I didn't it's want to ask really them to warm it. Mmm. Let me take a piece. There we go. Nice and soft. I wouldn't have warmed this. It has icing on the top. Mm. Okay. I don't. You're talking about my drink? Mm hmm. Your drink. Oh, okay. My drink is pretty good. I don't really taste any coconut cupcake. So, if you do get this and you're like a sweet person, get extra. I'm not a sweet person, so I'm actually fine. I was kind of worried it was going to be too sweet. What was yours called again? It's just the oat milk latte with uh, cinnamon, not cinnamon, uh, coconut cupcake and popping boba. Yeah, I can't seem to get my boba. Oh, you want some more? Because it's like all at the top. But yeah, guys. No, I'm too hungry. It's really good. I'm too hungry. And Dutch Brothers has only been here two months, so it's new. Mm. All right, guys. Awesome. I'm gonna be your uh, manager because uh, you miss opportunities to vlog. All right, guys. So we are done with seasons 52, which is where we we're eating. I did not show you guys my food. I showed you the dessert and drinks. Um, oh, it's a nice little Range Rover. But um, yeah. So right now I'm actually headed to. Barnes and Noble out in this area, same general area as, as Dutch Brothers, because they have a book that normally I would only be able to get on Amazon, actually in store out here. So 
We're gonna see what the Huntington Beach Barnes and Nobles looks like. I wonder if they have an urban fiction section or like a black author section. It'll be interesting to see if this is where all the urban fiction readers reside because they seem to have an urban fiction section in Manhattan Beach mm -hmm. and, and um, Long Beach. So that means that they have a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Audience. Yeah, they have an audience. So, just gathering intel. See you there. Alright guys, so I'm back. So we went to Barnes & Noble in Huntington Beach. I didn't vlog it because it was pretty unremarkable. It, to me, it looks like, um, well, you guys, if you don't leave here, it doesn't matter. But it looks like one of the Barnes and Nobles. I want to say, I can't think of which one it is. It looks like the one in Long Beach, in my opinion. That's how it's situated. That's how it's set up. So it wasn't anything spectacular. Bailey wants me to show you that she got a snail and oh it's a banana excuse me no it's a snail you know what it's like a snail banana then you hear a song and um i guess she wants to showcase her wheel of fortune ball you guys know but anyways i'm gonna show you what i got from barnes and noble it's not much I know what to keep you occupied. Hey, boo boo. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Then you can hear a song. Wow. This too. I don't know what. I don't know what this was, but okay. So I got. Does it hurt? Which I'm currently reading. I'm like sixty percent through. But it's pretty good, and um, I thought the book was pretty, so I wanted it anyways. And see, this is the inside. And this is what I was telling you about, Siobhan. It says, two baby sharks step aside, daddy shark is here. So I thought that was the reference everybody was saying about daddy shark, but apparently there's something else. Um, and then for the culture, I saw Terry McMillan on shelves. I haven't seen... Her books on shelves in a minute. And this is a new cover. So I actually owned this at one time. I don't know what happened. But yeah, your girl used all points for this. So this was all free. That's not true. I had to pay $4.50. But that's all I had to pay for these two. Then when I got home, my book of the month was here. Oh, so basically, let me let me say this. I don't think I have to tell you what Waiting to Excel is about. The book is actually a movie. Whitney Houston, Leela Rashad. Her name? Leela Rashad? Rashad. Leela Rashad. Um, Angela Bassett. Whatever. It's about just four black women going through life one is in the middle of a divorce one is um dating a married man one is um also dating a married man but also seeing like a loser and then one chick has an older son who's about to go away to college and you know so i mean it's hard to explain waiting to excel because it's been around for so long but i've never read the book and then i understand from my understanding wow Wow. That is beautiful. That is so beautiful. So yeah, I don't know how to explain this book because it's been around for so long, but in my um from what I've heard, there are several things that ha that don't happen in the movie that happen in the book. One that I kind of already know, everybody knows is that apparently um Gloria has a heart attack, but in the movie they just keep showing her like who breathing hard and, and holding her chest, but in the book she actually had a heart attack. So I know that's one big major difference. And if you were interested in this book, uh, basically it's about this woman. Let me see how much of this they tell you. Okay, so 
So basically, it's a chick who is running. She's on the run. And it's a dude who is just like rugged, mean, keeps to himself. She basically screws him over for lack of a giving away the storyline. And so he like makes it his mission to like get revenge out on her. It is a romance. Um, it takes place mainly in the ocean. So it so far, I'm like I said, I'm like 60% through. It's given very much like those old romance novels where they were like on a ship or you know shipwrecked and it was like a captain and like pirates it very much gives that feel so that was interesting because i haven't seen like a newer version of that type of book and i'm just really into all things like ocean so maybe that's why i like it i don't know if it'll be everybody's cup of tea but it, it's considered a dark romance and the spice on this i would say is like four four chili peppers if you want to on a scale so this is my book of the month gotta figure out how to open it i was gonna be so mad you know i was getting out of your car and something told me just to check to look around and i noticed that i had left my keys in your cup holder you know how mad i would have been going to my car can't find my keys going upstairs okay i would have been like what is going on? Oh, I'm looking for my keys as we speak. Let me let TT open this boo boo. I don't. I wasn't talking about your toy. I was talking about opening my toy. I don't know how that works. I don't know how it works, boo. Where's the cat? Where's the cat? Oh, you locked the, you locked the cat up in here, girl. Pull from the bottle. Huh? Pull from the bottle. Pull from the bottle. Where she is? I'm not an idiot. This is a. Open it the same way you were doing it, but from the bottom, not from the sides, like you're doing. You're doing it from the sides, from the bottom, the bottom, the bottom, the bottom. Bring it over here. Teaching me. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. The toy is difficult to open. Oh, so she has her own kitchen where she can wash. You guys should see. She has her own kitchen where she can wash dishes and a little table to eat. See? That's her kitchen, boo. And that's her little chair. So you ain't got to just throw her in there and close her, okay? Yay. That went on deaf ears. That cat will be back in that box. Okay. So, yeah, this interested me. It's called Dragon Fruit. I know it was a YA fantasy. I just saw that it said it had dragons, witches. Let me see. Yeah, it had something about dragons, witches spells it's right up my alley i like stuff like that so even though i'm not too into ya i'm starting to hate all the spice i'm reading in every single book so yeah mainly it's the uh it's just different when you read spice and urban fiction versus when you read it in like like the does it hurt book it's different it's different Okay, and my most anticipated. Excuse me, boo. Yay! Thank you. That the beautiful songs you're hearing in Japanese are from my niece. So, Bath and Body Works need to work on their uh, shipping. Their shipping is terrible. I mean, horrible. Is that the right one? I'm colorblind and... Oh, oh, wait, nigga. Oh. They're bad. I have to check my receipt. I think that's their bad. 
I know I ain't ordered two of these. If I did, I'm gonna be kind of upset. Okay. I bet you will. So, wow. I mean, that toy is so amazing. I got two candles and I thought two sprays, but they sent me three. Two are the same scent, so it's making me think it was an accident. Um. <laughs> Don't put that in my shirt, but you are. You know where her go. You put her in my shirt. Then you hear a thong. Okay, so I got two candles. They were having a sale. Everything was 40% off. And I was already looking on their website because <laughs> I saw on TikTok how they had a dupe for all the expensive luxury scents and i was like well that'll be good to have the expensive perfumes that i like in a body splash that way if i just want to run to the store but i want to smell like santal 33 i don't have to use my santal so that's where we are with this i do i do okay i got the lotion and the perfume okay so I got two new candles because I ain't bought a new candle in so long. What is she doing? So I don't even know what these smell like. Mmm, that smells amazing. This is sweet carrot cake. Oh. Oh. It smells so good. I knew it. Sometimes you can just eyeball it. And you just know. And I just knew. Now... This one is called Queen Charlotte's Tea. It's one of the Bridgerton candles. Okay, this one is not the same type of packaging. My sister was so upset that I caught this sale and she missed it. <laughs> okay guys yes i have been looking at it but she told me about the sale oh my gosh siobhan you gotta you gotta smell this oh my gosh queen charlotte's tea it literally smells like like a lemon zinger tea oh it's a very citrusy very spring it smells so good it's one of my favorites that is definitely one of my favorites so this one is um called floral fantasy and this is supposed to smell like i forgot i'll look it up and i'll put it on the screen but uh i can do i can Smells good. I just got it because of the name, but it smells very like powdery floral. It's not like youthful floral. It's like a I don't know. I smell more powdery. I think it's supposed to be Valentino or something like that. And this is Lost in Santal. It's supposed to smell. Oh, now that smells like Santal. Thirty three. They did a good job on this. It doesn't smell exactly like it, but it smells close enough. It's with the scent, the smell that you like in Santal is in here. And you could layer this. So theoretically, you could like spray this and then spray the real Santal over it if you wanted it to last longer. But Santal 33 lasts pretty long. I, I mean, I literally wore it one day this week and I'll put it on like 10 o'clock in the morning. Went through my whole day. Everybody was like, oh, you smell good. You smell good. Nobody in my house because they're not that nice. But when I got in the shower the next morning, as soon as the water hit my skin, the whole bathroom smelled like it. So it stays for a long time. You wouldn't really need to layer it, but if you wanted to, you could. You want to smell it? I can smell it. Does it smell like Santal to you? Yeah, they so if you are interested, my suggestion would be to go on TikTok because there are creators on there who have purchased all like 
24 cents and they literally tell you what each one is supposed to smell like the only ones i know is old cherry is supposed to be tom ford lost cherry and i just remembered that because the name old cherry and then of course Lost in Santal is supposed to be Santal 33, but they have a dupe for um, Ariana Grande's perfume, um, Valentino, Prada. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Tom Ford, like Soli Blanca, like the white Tom Ford bottle. They have one of those. Um, yeah, it's a lot of them. So for me, this was the main one. And I wanted to try this. I want to say, I think this is Valentino, but I put on the screen what it's supposed to be. But uh, I think that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. And uh, yeah, Siobhan, you can have this one that I sprayed. Did you check your receipt? It doesn't matter. I don't use body slash enough to have two of these. If I had two of these, it's going to end up with, with the dead head. Like, it's going to be like, you know, it's going to, like, lose its scent because, uh, right? Mm -hmm. So, fuck it up, buttercup. You can have it. All right, guys. I'm going to save myself some editing time. I looked it up, and it's supposed to smell like... Flower bomb. Victor and who? Ralph. Victor and Rolf. Flower bomb. I've never smelt it, but it smells good. So if you like flower bomb, my sister's supposed to sm sniff it now and tell me if it smells like that. But I tried to toss it to her and I overshot it. And neither one of us are willing to get where I overshot it to. And Bailey. Is a loose cannon. Asking her to get it could mean not getting it back or it being thrown elsewhere. So, and I'll let you guys know if it smells like it. Pretty sure it does. Everyone, everyone says everything smells exactly like it's supposed to. So, just assume it does. <laughs> That's how we fall out. That's how we fall out.